And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Callista Control. We got a, another viewer submitted a deck that looks pretty similar to the Karma Thresh deck that I like that I play sometimes. Uh, but instead of going with Thresh, we're going with Callista. Callista can be really powerful, especially when leveled up, and especially with the combo of Callista and Rekindler when leveled up. And I think that's going to um, kind of help out our, our late game is having that combination um, as well. But of course, we're, we're like a Shadow Isle based control deck. You know, trying to win the long game with Karma. Spooky Karma is, you know, like this kind of, you know, this kind of deck. But we have, we have Kliss in here. Kliss is also just a, a good card to play on turn three if we want to just pressure. It's a hard thing to, to trade with being a 4 3 fearsome. There's, you know, a lot of three drops don't uh, trade with Callista very well. And uh, besides that, we got Eye of the Dragon, another uh, new, like a, a new card here in our two mana slot. Uh, we got a couple of the boxes. That's pretty interesting playing a couple of the box to go along with Grasp, Withering Whale, and a Rasa at the top end with people just not really playing around Rasa at all. We got one of these. Um, so there we go. So that's this is our, our Callista Control. Let's give it a try. And hope our luck turns around. We have not had any luck today. But the day's just starting. Especially those of y'all watching on YouTube, because this will be like the morning. Um, the morning upload. We got those last two decks out of, out of the way. Here we go. Yeah, so if you want... Yeah, how to get? How would you get your deck played on stream? Multiple ways you can. Um, it, you can do a ten dollar donation, and I always, you know, like to get it always played. Um, and then also ten thousand or stream ten thousand stream points or channel points. If you see like the channel points underneath, like those are two ways for me to definitely play your deck and play it on whichever day you want. Uh, but besides that, you can always just. You know, send the deck code either you know here in chat. You can send me a message, a whisper here. You can uh, YouTube comments. You can put a deck code in the YouTube comments, and and you know I'll check them out. And um, you know I usually play like maybe one of those a day or, or something like that. And um, no promise that I'll I'll get to it, but um, if it looks interesting and um, yeah, then I'll I'll give it a try. Thank you, I'll reset the camera. Okay. Not sure how easy it is get for us to play two spells in a turn. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. As far as I the dragon's concerned. Flavor and spice! This is kind of how today's been going, though. Every opponent has just had perfect curve outs. That's how it's been going. Couldn't I have the Vile Feast first before the Glimpse Beyond? You know, I would have Vile Feasted that Fleet Feather Tracker. That would have been nice. Um, yeah, that would have been nice. Don't have Grizzled Ranger. Of course they do. Yeah, yeah, 
Um, yeah, when it says strongest allies, yes, that does include champions for Rekindler. Or I guess, well, that one says champion. So, um, so I guess which which card do you mean? First, the strongest allies include champion, I guess. Which card are you talking about? Likely, yes. Callista, okay. No, Callista um, says strongest dead ally follower. So no, Callista does not include champion. This is that word right there. My shield is yours. Is it even possible to to win? Will we ever win a game again? Winning a game, will that ever happen again? of will. Alright, we're not dead yet. Putting the Scythria back in their hand, you know, it's just more expensive than putting the Loyal Badger Bear back in their hand. Have another Cythria? That's pretty cool. Just got another one of those. In a long path to get here. Sure. be a cool card with Rekindler in a longer game. Many past lives in a single 
full. Alright, that is not this game. We gotta win some games eventually, right? This is the worst record I've ever had in my life. The you know, one in ten. Gotta win a game eventually. Okay, Vile Feast is good. Fills in the curve. You know, playing against Burn, we can have that on two, Callista on three, and then one of these things on four. Or we could do that with Eye of the Dragon. Turn two, Eye of the Dragon lets us play Withering Will or Grasp on turn three, which is really nice. Yeah, this is definitely a good hand against Burn. With my spirit, not my fists. Cannot complain. They have like Boom Crew Rookie. I probably need to play Callista to be able to block Boom Crew. You go wide with a bunch of stuff. We'll go Withering Whale. <laughs> Perfect. We, we shall not rest until all betrays. Maybe we'll win a game. Maybe the floodgates will open. We'll start winning them all. Did nothing on turn four. Turn three, they only spent one mana, and then nothing on turn four. They got in hand. Where there is light, You'd think that if they had a bunch of. They had like a bunch of pump spells like Transfusion and stuff, they would have played Transfusion. Um, maybe they have like. Maybe they have all three Noxian. Reporting for duty. Fervors. You know, deal with their foundations. You, you have earned your damage. Like deal three to my thing and then three to something else. Because whenever they played the one drop, they didn't have three mana left for, for Noxian Fervor. Should be game. We had a really good hand. It's a way for them to make it close. Decimate, especially if they have another decimate. And then they could untap and have like a couple get excited, but obviously we would just be able to gain life anyway, so we'd be fine.
Interesting. It's pretty interesting. Insightful investigator at the top end to try to give them some extra draw power. And they noxion fervor in response. <clears throat> and then we grasp the undying again. All right, we had all the luck that game. Think of our luck. There we go. Callista control. We're on the board. We are on the board. One more, and it'll be a winning streak. Just need to get one more for that. This is going to be a tough matchup because we're both like slow control decks, but they have the uh, combo finish of Ezreal. So that could be tough. Doing a lot of passing. My opponent just doesn't have any removal for karma. I don't know what else they could possibly have. Nine cards. I just don't even kill karma. Ionia speaks through me. We must make our own. So my Karma dies, we'll bring it back with Mistfall, and then we'll also have it be dead for Rekindler. You have a whole bunch of Glimpse Beyonds. My problem is, is if I pass, they'll pass as well. 
have too many cards, don't I? These Glimpse Beyonds aren't even good. It's all good, Dr. Grindel. Sweet. Alright, you're... Yeah, so you're almost there with the donation deck. You're almost there. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the cards to uh, do this, do I? So I, I glimpse beyond, I draw two. Then I have three, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in hand. And then I miss call and put karma back into play. I don't think I can, can glimpse beyond. Then I'd have... I'd have nine cards in hand, and then Karma would create a random one, which would be ten, and then I'd burn my first card that I draw. I'm just gonna do this. Maybe I should glimpse beyond there also. Yeah, that's yeah, that's I kind of I kind of realized that also while while I was talking through it that with the spider dying, the miss call could hit the spider, and that would be bad. One candle for every soul. many cards oh wow they're gonna burn oh no that's 10 fast turn wow they pass did they pass what's going on here they have to play stuff they jury rigs Hey, Blade. So we're both at nine cards. The dragon remembers. Within my grasp. The Blade, again that tier one resub. Thank you, Blade. All right, first up of the day. We just got our first win in a while, a little bit ago. Things are looking up. choose what to discard yeah it's kind of my plan is let rekindler die then miss call but if you look at I've kind of too many cards so if I want a glimpse beyond it I don't have like the room to draw the cards so I think I just have to let it die normally
three, six, nine. So I can't draw two. Eleven mana. Be seven out of four left. Enough for the box. So if they want to play Karma or Ezreal, we'll have the box. But the thing I like about Glimpse Beyond is it, it doesn't let them get the target with Ezreal. This is going to be a long game, isn't it? They're out of 18 cards left. I'm at 24. I guess they've cast a couple deep meditations and rummage. And that card. Of course, getting these scrap scuttlers out of the way is good for the Rasa. Steel Tempest and Gotcha. get rid of Hapless Aristocrat? Like, I don't even want to play it. All it does is help them turn on Ezreal. But I don't want it in hand either. It just fills up my hand. Don't want it at all. I guess it's good for Rasa. Alright, we'll play it. That's two denies. No. Do not question our resolve. <sighs> Got two denies out of there. Have like a play I love. Yeah, I don't really necessarily have a play I love.
They're not gonna mill out. That's the last jury rig. Well, unless they just create more randomly, I suppose. Night Harvest. Resolve. They're down to seven cards. We're at 20. But of course that's just kind of rubbish because of karma, putting more karmas into the deck. This is their first champion. They've killed one of my karmas. They still have three Ezreal and a karma. So they can't really actually deck themselves. Best case scenario is this top card is another Karma. And it gets burned. Okay, never mind. They have that to... Play so they don't burn their top card. Still seven out of eight. Don't blink, or you miss me. Go this route. Me. I don't miss. Over the rekindler. Alright, so we get two of these spells. So if I double grasp, they could target one of these to level up Ezreal and then also have like a barrier. Go like double Will of Ionia to keep that from happening, or double Vengeance. I think I want to save that. I think I, I think I want to force them to have that. I hope they don't. If they can't save Ezreal, but I, I think this is my best play. I think it's better to to keep Vengeance for Karma. No way. Okay, good. Bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Um, let's see. Um... 
Hey, Blue Nux. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, I, I put a couple of them on there. Not, not sure if I wasn't supposed to. Or not. Yeah, they, they are pretty great. I thought you'd never ask. That one has a barrier. Gonna draw them down to three cards. Ugh. So I either play like the box to kill the Ezreal, or I try to grasp and kill Karma. I'm gonna play this the box. Kill all three Ezreal so they don't have a win condition. I mean, they, they still have three Karmas. I mean, that's my win condition is three Karmas. They would still have that. It's not necessarily that they wouldn't have a win condition anymore. I'm so good, I surprised myself! Yeah, I have to level up Callista, though. It's going to be difficult to level up Callista. They played a different Ezreal than the one we know about. have one other karma in my deck as far as like these inside of ages go so they just put two more karmas into their deck very important card i'd love to draw karma but there's only one more in these 15 i'd love to draw it before these karmas die have 16 damage. Charged. Yeah, 16 damage. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's ridiculous. We 16 damage with... We have like, so I was at 20. 
tell how much damage those two are together. I was at 20. They played one inside of Ages, and then a Mystic Shot and a Get Excited, and that's 20 damage. <laughs> those three cards dealt 20 damage with those two in play. That's why I was saying that that's a, you know, at the very beginning, that's why that's a bad matchup for us because of Ezreal combo. Very tough to stop that. Basically, do I keep Hapless Aristocrat against Fizz Sejuani? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Why do we have to draw our second and third hapless aristocrats? I was like pretty close to just mulliganing the first one. I really don't want a second, and I desperately do not want a third. What's that noise? No desk, I got it. That egg. Did it move? I don't know, maybe they're gonna be good against what my opponent's doing over here. Maybe these hapless aristocrats will will do good, I guess. They're you know, they're playing these kind of cards. This one's trouble. Still just the first one would have been just fine. Yeah, you know, they they used a lot of cards to not do anything. You know, warning shot was basically just, you know, it was just deal three damage to me, which isn't very important. And then, uh, and then a couple of one drops. Never mind, we can still lose. Where there is life, there is hope. Warning shot for protection also. Yeah. Looks like we found a way to still lose. Shadow Assassin was a great draw. There's another one. That was a great draw for us. I can protect it with deny. <clears throat> Next turn I get to chump block and then miss call it back. Ooh, and miss call another one now. You own what you take. Never mind. Never mind. So, you know, I get to gain three here, go to 13. But I'm at. Like, this does 11, so that's 2 extra damage, and, and they can overwhelm for 3. So I could, could double Vile Feast. Um, and that should put me to 1. Let's see, so I'll be 13, 14, 15, and that's 11, and that's 14. So I think that'll put me to 1. I, so I was basically de determining if we had to cast Karma's inside of Ages or not. 
will keep me alive at one if they don't have anything else. The you know, big problem here is Shadow Assassin's now dying. We can't bring it back. Yeah, I didn't think we were losing that game at all. Until Battle Fury. GG. not really doing anything in any of these games. We haven't really done anything, have we? I guess against Burn, it, it was a good... Yeah, it was good against Burn. Alright, get rid of this hapless aristocrat. And probably get rid of the Vile Feast, and get rid of that. Probably get rid of this too. What do you want, puppy? Puppy, you want to come up here? Help me out. I could use some help, pup. Oh, I need that puppy luck. Yeah, puppy luck. These old eyes still see far clear. Safeguard our homes. Just take out the Shadow Assassin. having all these glimpse beyonds either really hard for us to actually have something to sacrifice with glimpse beyonds yeah, like i feel like if even if it was just um whatever the cost like the new ionia two mana draw two where there is life like that would be a lot more useful act with conviction Can't counter twin disciplines. Played all three shadow assassins. That must be nice. We got three of those. 
We'll just keep drawing these. Limps Beyonds I'll never play. Like, do you think I should just be vengeancing this turn, like tapping out for that? I kind of feel like holding up deny. Try to have my karma survive, like later on, and uh, if we get to like turn ten, have these withering whales be like double withering whales, and everything. They have 10 cards in hand. They let this block happen. Too many cards in hand. We shall pierce their treasonous arse. Heart and mind as one. Yeah, they didn't get to create a card with Karma, and they don't get to draw this card. They had two claws of the dragons in hand. That got destroyed. I need to get something out of my hand. So it's either I need to just like I need to just get something out of my hand. I'll do this. Like I I'd like to get the possession out of my hand, and this is like a good turn to play it with all this mana. Um But I don't know, I don't wanna like get try to cast this possession and then I only have one deny available, something bad happens. I don't know what it would be. It's a good turn just to waste the mana on this. I'll just pass though. Oh, come on. Our luck has been great today. We've had some awesome luck. Breathing, breathe out. Begins. Your death. 
Definitely gonna play barriers. Control mirrors. Pretty slow. That's our deck. Our deck is this deck is very, very slow that we're playing. You gotta gotta love the you know the slow game where every single decision matters. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. This card, Deep Meditation. That's what Glimpse Beyond should be. This should not be Glimpse Beyond, it should be Deep Meditation. Yeah, Clist hasn't been too impressive in the deck. Um, it's kind of just being a, you know, it's kind of just being a three mana card. It's a really good body for a three mana card. That's all it has kind of looked like so far. We got something useful, not possession. We have a lot of cards in hand, but they're not useful. Yeah, my opponent. Yeah, you can say my opponent wasted those Will of Ionias, but it doesn't matter whenever they have like actual actual good card draw. I will not hold back. Not glimpse beyond. Is just basically by any by every metric, this glimpse beyond is just worse. Because you can't you can't double up glimpse beyond with karma. Also, that other card survive. doubles up. Control mirror is like we're down you know, ten plus cards all the time.
this works. Would be nice to have karma off the battlefield. Alright, that's nice. Bye, puppy. Wish we had a, you know, a real card draw card. We have 20 cards left. So we still have half of our deck left. Uh, I don't, don't think we've played Rekindler this game. So those are both still in there. I think that's our first Karma. Maybe that's the second. I'm pretty sure that's the first Karma. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. This would be big if this actually killed Karma. Yeah, I was going to, but that would have been big. Reconsider. I'll see this through. What is gained when you return malevolence? Is all in the mind. Prepare yourself. All right, we got leveled up, Callista. We kind of need. It's ephemeral to go away. Give us more spot. Karma. Cease. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate. My work is
<laughs> the two on life steals are best thing that we've gotten so far. Uh. so much nothing in hand. Just got a whole bunch of nothing. Okay, that's a real card. Like, how do we actually win? I'll see this through. I will not hold back. Till they drop all their cards. I mean, that's that's never going to happen. They just play another Karma and get a whole bunch more spells. They're never going to just get rid of all their cards. I think I liked Thresh in this deck more. I like how Thresh can at least can challenge. I like that. That's true, I could have blocked with the Shadow Assassin and then I would have gotten that with Callista. That's true. Force is meaningless without skin. A pleasure to see you, Master. What is gained when we return malevolence? Yeah, I win by just stalling enough and they get bored. That could be it. I have five, I'm at 16. They've drawn an additional 11 cards, more than what I've drawn. If this works, this would actually, you know, this would kill Lee Sin. If this works.
Really wish I had one more mana and I could play another Withering Will if they have pump, they have toughness pump, but if they do with the Karma double spell, it's not going to really matter. Drew another Hapless Aristocrat, another dead card. So we have six cards in hand and two of them are dead with the Possessions and the Hapless Aristocrats and... Another one, the Deny, really doesn't do hardly anything with Karma in play. So basically I have one Withering Whale, and that's it now. Oh my gosh! I didn't mean to attack with the Karma. Their heart beats quicker. What am I doing? I didn't want to attack with Karma. Uh, long day. Can you imagine how good possession would be if you take champions too? Eh. Be better. I don't know if it'd be like that good. I don't know if people would like to put in their decks. Waste this will of Ionia right now. Master yourself, master your enemy. Oh, I should have. I should just cast this, and I would have killed the Karma. Yes, finally, inside of Ages. The body must I should. Have, I should have cast that my last turn. I was thinking, you know, same thing of like the whole barrier deny, but I probably should have just cast it. Center your spear. Ooh, going after Callista. Interesting. Yeah, if you can, yeah, if you can possess champions, then you can glimpse beyond them. That is true. I mean, you're you're still spending two cards to deal with one, but then I guess you do get to draw your two cards again. I mean, it's a very slow combo, but yeah, I guess if if that combo works out for you. At least we got a bunch of cards that aren't very good now. I don't know if I'm supposed to be waiting for combat before I play this. Potentially. Light the signal fires. My lands, prepare yourself.
Put the Lee Sin down to one. Oh, it's going to be priority on me. I'm at 15, they're at 3. Like a weird card to block. Act free of doubt. I will not hold back. Conflict is all in the mind. Yeah, this is a long game for sure. Neither of our decks do a great job of actually winning. Basically just try to grind out, grind the other person out with. Oh my gosh. I really wish I would have a Will of Ionia here to balance this and we would have just gotten you know gotten rid of another Lee Sin. That would have been great. But I don't, so they're going to be able to put two more Leaf Sins into their deck. <clears throat> if only. I guess they only put one Leaf Sin in their deck, right? Because the other one fizzles. Desu, thanks for the raid. Welcome. We are in the middle of a super long and drawn out control mirror. We've not had very much luck at all today. Hold on. I think the worst record I've ever had in my life, 2 and 12. Where there is life, there is hope. tell by our such garbage hand that we have just all this garbage well no thank yeah thank you i appreciate that yeah welcome everybody from any stream Jared Spoils are just going to pump up those champions in their deck. They're not going to draw them. Because uh, they had not activated Blunder. So we're on turn 23 right now. Yeah, that's, that's what I just said before this, turn 23.
I thought we we would have been dead for like the longest time. I'm pretty surprised we're still alive. That can't be smart, right? They have three cards in their deck. We'll bring peace to Ionia. They just whatever the cost. Just kill themselves? How are they playing War Mother's Call when they have like no cards in their deck? What are they doing? The Navarre is in sentry, so they'll draw one. So that's their last card. Looks like the opponent got tired and just wanted to go. Wow. What do we do? We got three cards. Let's play double War Mother's Call. Like, they couldn't possibly survive then, right? Because they're all units left. Like, I thought they were just, I thought there was just Lee Sin and Karma, but it's Lee Sin, Karma, and then I guess an Avarosin Sentry. So even if I don't Ruination, they lose because they have one card left in the deck because then War Mother's Call is round starts. So like, round start, like, that would happen. And, you know, it would put the other creature into play from the top of their deck. And then it would put the Lee Sin into play. And then they would have to draw, and they couldn't draw, and so they would lose. Like, they need to have they need to have one more mana um, to be able to play that and also Karmas inside of Aegis and get, you know, two more Karmas into play. Two more Karmas in their deck. At least, but... Yeah. All right. Well, we gotta win. Gotta win. So yeah, overall, I was not really that like I wasn't super impressed with this version. It just really felt like winning was like winning was really difficult with this deck. Um, yeah, basically the Callistas weren't that great. I wouldn't mind having one Callista. I still just really like. As far as this kind of deck, I really just prefer my Karma Thresh Control version. Um, you know, I like... It's very similar, but I like this. You know, you have, like, Deep Meditations, a lot better card draw. Some Twin Disciplines to protect. Um, you know, I think this kind of deck needs, like, a, one Commander Ledros instead of one Rasa. I think you need a Ledros in here to be able to finish games and, and win games. I think that's important. I could see playing one Callista in here, though. I like Thresh being able to challenge. I think that's that's a really good aspect. Um, but I could see playing one one Callista instead of one of these other three mana cards. Um, you know, like maybe instead of an Emerald Awakener. Three Emerald Awakeners is kind of heavy. I could I could see playing a Callista there instead. But this is a similar deck that um, that I just like more. That I I would uh, recommend. There is less burn running around, so maybe the second health potion doesn't need to be here anymore. We could probably take out like one of those health potions and get another Deny or Will of Ionia, get another one of one of these cards in there. Whoops. Uh, I can't see the dungeon. All right, uh, discard. Um, but yeah, as far as our our deck, I don't know. Hapless Aristocrat, really not not very good. Glimpse Beyond was really bad. Like, this card, like, I just don't really like those cards in this kind of deck. But I guess, you know, it's, they're supposed to be bodies for Callista, like, for Callista to see die. Um, but everything else is very similar. I just like, I like Ledros more than Rasa. Um, the box really wasn't that impressive. But I could see playing one, the box, instead of a health potion. Yeah, that's kind of like the big difference is not playing those and instead playing um, Emerald Awakener and Solitary Monk. And obviously, uh, it's so that those like Aristocrats and Eye of the Dragon. And obviously, instead of Glimpse Beyond, playing um, uh, the other the other card draw that works a lot better. Deep Meditation works a lot better with Karma and is reliable. All right, but there we go. So that's Callista Control. Um, that's my thoughts on the deck. Uh, yeah, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, you know, leave those comments. Let me know, uh, you know, any comments you got, questions, comments, anything you got there. All right, but thank you so much for watching, 
and I'll see you for the next video.